Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today I wanted to address something that seems to be uh, at the core of the conversation around Outriders. And I want this conversation to be constructive because I believe that there might be a solution here somewhere to allow for this game to thrive more and better serve the community out there. So what I'm going to mention in this video is something that I've realized from just a little bit of research is not popular, but I believe it does have some level of relief to provide for the game in its current state. So if you look at the Outriders game right now from Metacritic and you look at Steam reviews, you're going to find out that Outriders is sitting at a just a very, you know, um, <laughs> I would say sharp 60% favorability margin. Uh, on Steam, there are close to 9,000 reviews, about 6,000 of them, as the time I'm recording this video, are positive, and about 3,000 of them are negative. So I said about 3,000, 3,800. So approaching the 4,000 mark. So it, the reviews are kind of still growing, so the numbers are all over the place. If you notice, my math is a little off, but the reviews are going to be approaching about 10,000, perhaps in the next few hours. And I think that 60, 40 percent is going to show up even on Metacritic. You're looking at a 6.0, 6.1 average on the consoles and PC. So, again, it still iterates that the 60 percent favorability is where Outriders stands as of now. Now, what is holding this game back to enter that 70 percent favorability, in my opinion, and from reading these reviews, uh, you know, extensively is the connectivity issues. There are a few people who say, you know, the game does not seem to suit them. Some people have said they don't believe the product is for them. Some have said it's a little repetitive. But when you actually kind of, uh, you know, accumulate those concerns, they don't necessarily uh, even match up to those who are saying the connectivity issues are bothering their gameplay experience. And I think this is as a result of perhaps they don't, you know, necessarily understand what the landscape is like launching a game that's going to be co-op. I don't even think they understand their projections or projected sale possibilities with this game. If anybody, you know, has been paying attention to gaming, this is a game release drought. So so Outriders is going to basically sell and thrive and enjoy this season, even in the coming months. There are people who are just waiting for the game to just drop a little bit in price and they're going to enter. They don't want to pay the $60 price tag because of the connectivity issues. They're just sitting there waiting. Once the game goes a little bit on sale, they're jumping in, they're getting in. So you're going to be seeing new players on an influx for the next few months until another major release of this nature, which if you look on the calendar, that doesn't seem to be a lot that carries what this game is carrying. Now, I'm also talking about this video because I believe that within these connectivity issues that are causing players a lot of concern, there is one thing that can be done to resolve this issue and even for the you know future not allow for this to actually crop up. So that is a, me uh, a mechanic that a lot of players don't like, which is if you are inactive for a specific amount of time, you get kicked out of the server. Now, this sounds crazy because I, on looking online, I've seen that people do not necessarily are not necessarily sorry, fond of this mechanic because somebody wants to go and eat a snack real quick. The snack can take maybe longer than five minutes and then they come back and they're kicked down. They're like, what the heck? Well, ideally, the reason a lot of these studios do this is to you know prevent the servers from being overcrowded. Perhaps this could be one of the reasons that players are not able to log on. I don't know, but at least there's nothing wrong in allowing for the servers to have enough fidelity to be able to take on players who are active and players who are online. And if this is a measure that needs to be taken, then I think they need to actually put this into a patch that rolls into the game in the future and somewhere down the road. Tom Clancy's The Division actually had to implement this uh, a little bit into the life of the game. I think it was in Division 1 somewhere that they did that, where if you were inactive for about 15 minutes, you got disconnected. And even Division 2 eventually carried it on because if you've played Division long enough, you know what the Delta looks like. I mean, that's basically a disconnect. There are many things that causes, you know, disconnects. I mean, for those of us who play in the Division, we've seen all kinds of different, uh, you know, Foxtrots and Echoes and all kinds of different notifications of disconnects, which are subject to pretty much different uh, circumstances kicking you out of the game. But I think in the case of Outriders, the developers need to prioritize something like this in order for the game to continue to run at fidelity. In fact, this particular clip is a clip of me finishing that mission where you go and rescue, uh, you know, Jacob. And I finished it. I put the game down. I was still recording. I went on my PC account. 
I played the beginning mission of PC on the demo and my player was still standing here and I had not input any single thing in the controller. This clip spans for at least another 30 plus minutes where I'm just standing in the server and not doing anything. I don't think that this is a healthy way for them to run their servers. I understand they want to serve the community and I understand that there are community members who may say, well, it doesn't really mean anything. They just need to get more server space. But then at the same time, that may not necessarily be a good use of resources overall. Why spend the extra, you know, uh, I would say <laughs> my why, why exercise the resources for something that is as simple as just logging back in? If perhaps that's going to work, then I believe it's a sacrifice worth making, because if you maybe if this whatever it is I'm proposing works, then at least you have better servers that you can log back into at any time that you want. Another thing that I found out today was I was trying to match make open groups and there were people that I match made with that were literally just standing here in their base of operations, not doing anything, not even moving. They were just they probably left their matchmaking on and walked away and just forgot that it was on and maybe are engaged in all kinds of other things. Those of you who are gamers, you know the landscape, you know what it's like. Many of you are parents, many of you have engagements that you're in between while you're playing video games. And so, yes, I definitely understand that sometimes something can take you away from, uh, you know, what you're doing, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, if that's something that's going to overall serve the game, why not, you know, as a community say, sure, it might be something the devs might do at the end of the day it might be something that, you know, doesn't necessarily work out, but you know, what do I know? I only know systems that have used this and have at least found some success in doing this. So I believe the developers here, people can fly, can actually implement this. And this is probably going to go a long way, or at least in the future, allow for the game to run at better fidelity. But anyways, that's pretty much my video. I just wanted to make sure that we pointed this stuff out because <laughs> it was quite interesting to see. I was doing an experiment just to see how long I would stay in the server. And I finally gave up and just turned off my PlayStation 5. That was that was quite interesting, in my opinion, anyways. Uh, having gotten used to dis getting disconnected from my division of sessions, uh, when I just sit in the server, this was an eye opener for me. And I felt, well, this might be an opportunity to fix the server issues and maybe, maybe uh, allow for the game to run better for everybody. But I'll talk to you guys in another video. Thank you very much for your time and audience. I appreciate you guys so much. Leave comments in the comment section. Do you feel this system will help? Do you think it won't? We'll talk soon. Peace out.